Hey guys, Anthony here with Vape for Life. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TFV12 prints from Smoke. So, on the front of the box, it shows the, the atomizer itself. I got mine in Neochrome. Then on the back, it gives you some information on what's included in the box, why it's why the prints is called the prints. If that wants to focus, I don't think it wants to. But it just says that it comes with the Prince tank, the Q4 coil, so the four coil ones, the X6, so the six tuplet coils running at 0.15 ohms, and then you got the T10's 1.2 ohm 10 coil atomizer. It also comes with a replacement glass tube and spare parts and a user's manual. So open up the box here. Get you presented with a nice smoke tank or smoke box. Right like that. Yeah. Then you open up that. And then you're presented with the atomizer itself. So it's a nice atomizer. The prince has the domed 8mm capacity glass. So let's put that down. Uh, you got your foam pad. Got your manual. User's attention if you want to authorize it. My receipt because I always put them in the box. Got spare parts. So spare seals. The spare glass is a 5 mil capacity straight tube glass. Because I don't know why they didn't include a a domed shape one like they like that's pre-installed and then mine I've already used the T10 I already went through that in a week and a half uh, I have the six coil one in it right now I broke that in today and then you got the Q4 so the four coil one the four coil runs best at 40 to 100 or runs from 40 to 100 runs best from 60 to 80 the, the six tuplet runs best or runs between 50 and 120 and runs best between 80 and 110 and then I got I, I went out and bought a pack of the V12 Prince T10s they run between 60 and 120 and they run best between 80 and 110 as well so they, the T10s are a 0.12 ohm, the T6s are a 0.15, and the Q4s are a 0.4 ohm coils. So if you were interested in the information about the ohms on them, there you go. So let's quickly pack the box back up, throw everything back in the box. Throw the box over there. Take the ELO tank off my Icon 200 or 220 watt, and let's throw the TFV12 prints on there. But first, let's take a quick look at the airflow or at the actual tank itself. So let me swap to the other camera, camera, and we'll take a quick look at how it is. All right. Now, now that we're on the other camera, we're going to take a quick up and close look at the. TFE 12 prints, uh, just the atomizer itself. So, as you can, I don't know if you guys are, yeah, there we go. So, there's a 0.15 ohm, 50 to 2 or 120, the best 80 to 100, and it says on this side right here, it says it has the prints logo and it says. V12 prints X6 it says smoke right there and that's all the branding that's on it it's got a really nice drip tip I don't remember the exact type but it says on the box it is a top fill mechanism like the old TFE 12 used to be it says open here but instead like the old like the old TFE 12 or unlike the old TFE 12 there's an actual button so it doesn't flip open in your pocket you got one decently sized kidney shaped hole for you to fill it to for you to fill your juice in then you can see right down into the coils there you got some nice big airflow let me just open that up here 
does some nice big airflow for the T10 coils when you want to chuck some giant clouds. You got that bubble shaped glass so you got an 8 mil capacity on it and that neochrome color is just amazing. It's your standard 510 pin, non-adjustable. It says designed by smoke and it says not to throw it out in the trash. So that's a quick up and close look at the V12 prints. Let's screw it onto the mod and see how it performs. Alright, so let's just screw this onto my mod here. It's your standard 510 pin, as I said. So it's, it goes onto basically any mod you choose. You got your nice big airflow holes. I usually run mine fully open. Let me just splooge some juice in there. I'm going to be running some Vape Time Quad Berry right here. I just picked this up today at my local vape store. It's called Cloud Chasers. So, it was my first time visiting that store. I picked up the coils and this juice there. I've never tried this juice. It smells fantastic. It's a mix of blue currant, or black currant, blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. So, let's just quickly fill this tank up. So, I haven't had any problems with leaking, even filling the tank right up to the top when I was using the T10 coils. So, I don't think it's going to leak for... A while unless you pinch the o-ring and then you crack or rip the o-ring or something or anything then you might have some leaking problems so let's just get that juice around in there that's a big cloud so this is this is only the x6 coil you can go to the t10 coil which produces more clouds but just a hint less flavor is what I've noticed because this X6 produces a lot of flavor. So if you're more into the flavor, I'd, I'd recommend the X6 instead of the T10. But if you want big clouds and a decent amount of flavor, then, then you can go with the T10 coils. Just all depends on what your mod can handle as well. Because if your mod can't handle the wattage that these tanks take, or these coils tank take, I'd recommend using the... the Q4 because it runs at a lower wattage and lower amps and lower ohms so it doesn't tax the mod as much as the X or Q yeah X6 and T10s. These naming schemes on their coils are kind of confusing when you're got going through them all at once but if you're going into a store and asking for a T10 or a X6 the store owner usually knows what you're asking for but let's try this again. Oh, that's really good. That's some really good flavor. Blow some decent clouds, I think. Yeah, I I like this tank compared to the T12 or TFV12 because it has a bigger capacity, and I compare. And I just did an unboxing and review on the Elo tank with the mod. I prefer this over the Elo because it produces more, a lot more flavor and a lot more clouds, but. I'm not really looking for the clouds as much as I am looking for the flavor, so the X6 coil is really nice in my mind. It's a really good tank. Really good. If you're more of a amateur or if you're not really starting, if you're a little bit, if you're one step higher than a starter with mod or with vaping, I'd recommend the TFE 12 because it produces amazing flavor, like really good flavor. <clears throat> so far within a week and a half that I've had this, I haven't had any complaints about the mod itself or about the atomizer itself for the tank. It doesn't leak in my pocket, doesn't do anything. If, if you're scared of leaking, you can just close up the air holes and then none of the juice comes out. But then if, if it does leak, if you have the odd one that may leak, then when you open it, it will gush all the juice out that you just put in. So there is a downside to the to tanks, but the TFV 12 prints, I rated probably 6 out of 10 stars because it's really good for flavor.
And the 8 mil capacity is really nice to have too. Because you can fill it up in the morning, leave your bottle of juice at home, and then go to work or go to school, whatever you do. And then you come home and you're just about out of juice, so you fill it up again and then you're good to go. So you get about, well I get, I'm pretty good at emptying the tank in a day, so you can get probably a couple hours out of the tank itself worth of juice. So I recommend, I would recommend the TFE 12 prints to anyone. It's a really good tank. If, you, if you're starting to, if you want to die a lot from coffee and with a lot of clouds, I'd recommend it, but you'll get there if you're, not, if you're beginning and you're looking for a tank. You'll be able to handle this with your lungs in no time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any tips, tricks, comments on how I can make my videos better, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, negative comments will be deleted or, or you will be blocked from the channel just because I don't want hate on my channel. But my channel is mainly a hobby, so if you want, if you guys want to like, comment, and subscribe down below, go go for it. It's up to you. I'm not the one telling you guys to do it. So please, please hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.